morning people welcome to another video with all Souls, and we are unboxing and reviewing another series 6 clone smartwatch and this is the m16 plus but just before i get started make sure you follow me on one of these social medias as i always put up sneak peeks on what to expect on all Souls. and as always make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell notification so when i upload any video you actually be notified so today we have this m16 plus it is similar packaging to the mc99 pro but you can check that out on my previous video i've done an unboxing review of that but let's take a look at the packaging so m16 plus text at the top you've got a few pictures of different uh, watch and watch bands uh, take a look at the back it gives you a qr code that's the wear fit pro app you need to download you can get it on ios or google play a few trademarks wear fit pro that's that we need to download and uh, yeah that is about it so here it says m16 plus blue aluminium case blue sand sport band and it's a 44 millimeter so let's open this up this is sealed not often you get a um, clone smartwatch that becomes sealed if you check out my previous videos you would actually know that so this is sealed i've not checked it out it's the first time we're checking it out together so opening up the box as you can see straight away you're greeted with m16 plus smartwatch popping this up and as you can see really nice packaging not gonna lie as people like to hear me say so number one uh, to attach band slide in uh, until you hear a click adjust band to fit close uh, thick what does no idea what that means to your wrist for optimal performance to remove band press the button and slide out no idea if that will actually have a button on the back but we're going to find out so here is the watch band a nice royal blue color is it navy blue royal blue no idea silicone uh, but watch band just before we take a look at the smart watch itself what do we get inside you've got your manuals as you can see m16 plus in two different languages that's one and we've got english right here so it just gives you a bit of information on the watch you can actually pause it if you want to actually read it but let's take a look at the watch well just before that you've got a two pin charger right there usb two pin charger so it does not have a wireless charging pad so that is it while we get inside the box let's take a look at the watch and here we have it so as you can see let's just take off the plastic and show you the watch so this is a 1.75 inch hd display 44 millimeter you can get it in four different colors this is the blue version i had to switch it up a bit as i always get the black color so as you can see take a look at the back you've got the same sensors as the original and also text around the uh, sensors you've got a two pin charger right there take a look at the side you have got the crown we'll see later in the video if that actually works or not and uh, might cut out one also a button placement which actually works it's not a fake one uh, other than that you've got two cut out here for the speaker one is fake one is real if you want to see a real versus fake versus this with this and the original series 6 smartwatch let me know in the comment section below let's switch this on see what it's like straight away we've got a startup tone definitely from the hw series and check these watch faces out these are dynamic watch faces i've been told that will actually change but this one changes automatically so let's see how much watch faces we actually get so let's press it in that don't work so let's see how much you want so this is iron man one spider-man two that's another one three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen fifteen watch faces so if you want to know why the dynamic well if you press it it will actually change as you can see right there that automatically changes it's like a little animation that one doesn't change that one doesn't these one don't so some watch faces do change and some don't so that is the watch faces so you got 15 watch faces swipe it down you have the latest shortcuts uh, the layout as you can see it does look like an ios uh, layout and 
let's swipe it down it, uh, the brightness goes down swiping it up it goes up so it does have the latest shortcuts right there that button right there is to put on the bluetooth that one's to go into settings this one is do not disturb and uh, that you can take it off and here you can actually lock screen so hold long press the side button to unlock and it's unlocked you can also put a passcode on which i will show you later in the video swiping it up will give you your message notifications swiping it to the left will you can actually change the watch face swiping it to the uh, well swipe, that will swipe to the right swiping it to the left is same again to go into the menu you're pushing the crown that goes into the menu uh, push it in again goes back to home screen pushing the button in will actually go to the menu again so uh, you can't actually take it off or if you hold it in it'll just go back to thing uh, go back to home screen or menu or it will actually switch off from there though but that button does actually work so let's push it in this is one menu interface as you can see right here it's not got a lot of menu features as you're going to see in the video so how to change the menu interface is double tap the crown and it will actually change as you can see right there and double tapping it again will actually change to smart view so you've got three menu interfaces now let's check the apps out so let's double tap this one we're going to this one that is heart rate let's check out heart rate so uh, is it as you can see here you got your christmas flashing lights right there going off and will it give us a reading while it's off an object let's find out or while it while it's on an object or if it doesn't do any of them we're gonna have to put it onto my wrist to see if it gives us a reading then and as you can see straight away 56 beats per minute just on fresh air christmas fashion lights were going a bit daft then so that is the heart rate and as you can tell all of these uh, blood pressure um, apps and also the blood oxygen won't work because they give you false reading so this one is outdoor sports you can do sit ups you just you can just pause it and unpause it stop it right there uh, swipe back does actually work so this is the breathe that is your data from your activities that you've done here are your messages this one is your eyes well that's settings that one is your outdoor it well, should be outdoor that one was outdoor and this one is indoor as you can see your yeah, activities so the bad thing about it every time you go into an app and then you swipe back it goes back to the top so that's not really good is it so let's go into settings let's see what settings we can actually use so you got dimming screen off time you'll just change it to 15 seconds swipe it down there we go raise your wrist to bright that means we raise your wrist to wake up do not disturb mode uh, sound and vibrate language settings connect mobile phone you can put your password on your lock screen as well if you want to about let's click about version 6.02 and m16 plus as you can see right there the bad thing about it, it just goes back to the top so you reboot restart factory settings and shut down so that is the settings uh, you got your music which you have to connect to your phone swiping it back swiping it back down uh, you got your call settings same again connect it to your phone so we'll have to go all the way back back down again uh, that is your weather uh, your sleep mode what else your camera mode you can shake to take pictures once it's connected to your phone this one is your data for the rest of the week uh, and also this one is your countdown does the crown work yes it does the crown does work uh, you've got your calculator and that is about it so what we need to do now is connect this to my phone to see what kind of other features we can add or change on the app when it's connected to the smartwatch and if you didn't know what app to download it's the wear fit pro I've already got the WearFit Pro app already installed as of uh, unboxing review loads of smart watches. You can check out my fake watches uh, playlist. Uh, so WearFit Pro is already downloaded. Let's see if my Bluetooth is on. Let's put that on right there. Bring the watch up. Make sure Bluetooth is on. So yeah, that's on right there. And uh, yeah, go into the app. Devices. Let's bin that one and close add device so m16 plus straight away do not operate mobile phones or watches pairing so let's pair successful pairing allow notifications yes complete i know and there we have it m16 is connected 
let's go into show codes and as you can see it's connected at the top so let's see what features we can do so m16 plus uh, steps calories and kilometers go sync straight to your phone uh, watch faces can you do custom watch faces so you can actually download some you have to pay some are free you can customize and put your own watch face on right there you can put your style and position of your text so you can put custom watch faces on weather reports notifications you can toggle not your which notification you want on or off uh, with the roll on so we'll check that out when we make a phone call alarm health reminder taking pictures find bracelet it doesn't do anything wait find bracelet confirm it doesn't do anything find bracelet again finding the device it just switches it on but it doesn't do anything all the settings you can put hourly point measurement raise to wake or 12 hour clock uh favorite contact troubleshooting what's troubleshooting it just uh, download well uploading some use guide you can if you don't know how to use it you can just click on that firmware update uh, currently have the latest version 6.0.2 and you can change it but you can restore factory settings or delete current advice and everything you exercise and everything just gets synced straight to uh, this app where your total steps or your daily steps or not so with this uh, with any of the fake smartwatches all you've got to do is make sure you've connected it twice so the first connection is for the smartwatch itself to sync all the data if you want to receive phone calls from the uh, watch watch um straight from the phone straight to the watch or notifications you've got to connect it twice so hopefully there'll be another uh, m16 connection and uh, let's just see if it's on yeah let's, uh, it just went back off there so we'll put that on right there and hopefully you get another one watch call and that should be connected right there and that's it that's how you make uh, notification phone call so what we'll do now is I'm just gonna make a quick phone call on my other device as you can see it is calling there's a little bit of a delay but it comes up with the number but you do have the option to slide to answer incoming call and you've got that tone on the smartwatch as well so taking that off let's send a text message and let's see what uh, notification we get so as you can see with that one we'll swipe it up for notifications it's got no notifications that we made a phone call so let's send a text message and see what that is like so text message is sent as you can see it's on the phone but I didn't know text message so there's no tone to actually say you've got a text message it just comes up straight onto the screen subscribe to all sorts when we swipe it up that is the notification but you don't get a tone but maybe you can change that in the settings or whatnot so let's go into whatsapp and i'm going to see if you can actually get a notification from whatsapp so i sent a whatsapp message on my other phone and as you can see it doesn't actually light up but when you actually bring it up yeah you've got a message on whatsapp it does give you the logo but there's no tone or settings maybe because it's on silent uh, let's just go into settings uh, sound and vibrations it's it's on go back connect the phone so maybe you have to mess about with this but it does show it's on Wait, maybe because it's on these dynamic ones. Let's just go to a normal one and let's try it and try it now because sometimes when it's on dynamic uh, watch faces where you get a little animation, you might not get a uh, notification. And there we have it. So it's still still there. You do get notifications, but they're on silent. Maybe I have to mess about with it to change it. So that is it, people. That is the M16 Plus. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. There is a few uh, disappointments with this. There's not a lot of uh, menu features, uh, no games, only passcode with it. Um, and uh, yeah, overall, if I, if I was going to choose, I wouldn't actually buy this because there's not a lot of features you can actually get on this M16 Plus. It looks good don't get me wrong i do like the blue color but uh, it's not one of my best smart watches so if you want to see any other videos do let me know in the comment section below thanks again for watching and i'll see you again for another video